How is everybody doing this morning? This is L.A. Kendrick with another tale from the vault of Would You Dare? You know, as you guys know, I've been out traveling. It's early in the morning right now, really early. Gonna go get that run in, stay physically fit. And y'all know how we do it raw, unedited at the time, live. So today we're gonna talk about the Honey Island Swamp Monster. And, uh... It's pretty impressive because I'm going to tie Florida in with Louisiana, but the topic and the, the, the topic of the story naturally comes from Indi I mean Louisiana. So that's what we're going to start off with. And yeah, been out there checking some of these spots out. Again, we're just here for the fans. We're here to try to make sure that we get back to the fans for you guys supporting the work that I've done. You know, uh, just getting back from a lot of traveling and you know, celebrating my birthday. So that's where we're at. But make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as we usually say, the party don't start till you walk in. And now that you're here, let's begin. All right. Uh, this monster, the Honey, Island, the Honey Island Swamp Monster, was first sighted in 1963 when Harlan Ford and his friend Billy Mills were searching for an abandoned cabin. Spotted by Ford in a plane deep in the Honey Island Swamp, the friends reached the clearing where they spotted the creature who kept eye contact with them only for a moment before escaping into underbrush. Describing the creature, Ford said the following, It was nothing like I'd ever seen before, ugly and sinister looking, like something out of a horror movie. In 1974, Ford and Mills returned to the area on a duck hunting trip. The two found several dead boars with their throats torn out along the way. Realizing the boars were, were too far from the water to have been killed by alligators, they had been suspected. They began to suspect that the monster they encountered nine years ago prior was involved. This suspicion was confirmed when they noticed footsteps uh, of a three-toed and webbed footprints, three-toed and webbed around the around one of the boars. Rather than have a second run-in with the swamp monster, Ford and Mills retreated from uh, Honey Island Swamp at a fast pace. Later that night, the friends returned to make a cast of the footprints. Another man named Ted Williams claimed to have seen the creature many times. He believes there to be multiple swamp monsters. I could have killed them, Williams said, but I didn't because they didn't seem to want to harm me. One day, took Ted, one day Ted took his boat into the swamp to set trout lines, and he was never seen again. Uh -huh, there it is. In the description, they say, standing over seven and a half feet tall and weighing between 400 and 500 plus pounds. The Honey Island Swamp Monster, also known as the Louisiana Wookiee, is said to be covered in, a, covered in a thick coat of matted gray or brown hair and swamp weed. Its yellow eyes are seemingly reptilian, and that it smell, and the smell it emits have been called the stench of death. This primitive creature, this primitive creature has been long blamed for the deaths of livestock and mysterious disappearance of children, children in the adjacent areas. Leave the kids alone. Popular law in this region is that the Honey Island Swamp Monster might be the horrifying product, product of, a, of a union between a chimpanzee and an alligator. And, a dark, and in the darkly primordial swamp lands that must look, that must look much the same way as, it, as they did now thousands of years ago. The existence of almost any creature seems possible no matter how ominous. One of the strangest legends surrounding the Honey Island Swamp Monster revolves around a train wreck which allegedly occurred near the Pearl River Valley in the early part of the 20th century. According to this legend, the train was full of exotic animals from traveling from a traveling circus which uh, fled into the swamps after the train derailed. That's exactly how it reads. While most of the creatures would soon perish in the harsh swampland, the legend goes on to tell us that a troop of chimpanzees managed to survive and even, and even went as far as to interbreed with alligators. I don't know about that, but the result was a strange colony of reptilian-like mammals. However, this is impossible because monkeys and alligators cannot interbreed. That's what I was thinking. They don't share the same DNA. The Honey, the honey Island Swamp Monster is alleged to have had a foul stench as other crypt, cryptics, specifically in the hairy hominis category, Bigfoot, Skunk Ape, Missouri Monster, Monster, ETC, etc., possibly due to the marsh's natural smell. Uh, the swamp creature in 
He was also in uh, Animal Planet's Lost Tape. Tapes was most likely the Honey Island. The, the swamp creature in the Animal Planet's Lost Tapes was most likely the Honey Island Swamp Monster, which attacked the professor, her nephews, and Bud Ray at night after the nephew broke its eggs. All right, that's that's it on the lore, right? But what I want to do now, I want to show you guys some footage from uh, what Florida says they have and what Florida had actually seen. So I want to show you footage of that. Um, and uh, again, disclaimer, because this is free. Uh, this is free information. But again, you guys just view this and tell me what you think, because I definitely want to get your input on it. Uh, get this thing here. Let me zoom in. That's those guys in the boat. <coughs> Excuse me. And I believe the creature is right there moving. Now, again, this is not my stuff. I'm just sharing information. This is in Florida, a Florida swamp. You guys can see it moving around, whatever it is. And it jumps in the water. They will give you a better look, okay. Now, I don't know, man. If it's somebody in a suit, I don't know what they're thinking. As you can see, them cats didn't wait around very long. You know, to see what was going on. And I can imagine uh, that being exceptionally, an exceptionally uncomfortable situation. Again, I'm, I don't know what it is. I just bring you guys stories to keep you guys in the loop <clears throat> so that we continue to network with one another until I get the next book out. And it's coming. Um, it's coming. And again, I, I can't thank you guys enough for you know, supporting the work. So, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of weird stuff out here in, in the world, you know, you know, stuff beyond the, uh, asphalt jungle. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of places, a lot of spots. And I, you know, I, I would like to go to a lot of these places, which I have been just, you know, just to get a feel and see what's going on. And just to bring you guys some of the stuff that we talk about here. We talk, we talk about a lot of different topics here. Uh, try not to pigeonhole myself into one one particular thing, but for the most part, again, this is for the fans. This is for you guys that support the work. What do you guys think that was? What do you guys think that is? Do you believe that there's something out there in the swamps? Um, and again, if that was a guy in a suit or a girl in a suit, tell you what. I don't know if you guys have been in some of these swamps, but man, they got snakes, they got gators, they got stuff that will tear you apart out there. So if you, you know, whoever or whatever this is, is uh, pretty bold to be out there in those situations, in those positions, because it just they, it just doesn't pay. Stuff is crazy down there. So um, I don't know, man. And the guy that came up missing, what was his name? Mills? Man, uh, you know, what was he? I, what happened to him? Did the gators get him? Did the, did the snake, did a snake bite him? Did the creature that he said he could have shot years ago kill him? What happened? What happened to that cat? 
So, you know, it's always, it's, it's always, uh, something to speculate with your mind, man. Like <clears throat> these things are, you know, take it with a grain of salt, have fun, come here, relax your mind. And then just bounce thoughts and ideas off of each other. I've been trying to live stream, but it's a, it's a weird process, man. I haven't mastered it yet. So tell me what you guys think. Would you dare want to be caught out there with this thing? Seeing this thing, seeing this image, or just out there in the swamps, period. So, I don't know. Let me go get my jog on, get that run on, get this morning started, taking care of myself like you're supposed to. Um, and in closing, you know how we do it here like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember. See how dark it is out right now? This is early in the morning. Make sure you check your closets, the dark recesses of your home. And if you happen to work late at night like this or early into the morning like this, make sure, make sure that you check under your car. Make sure you check inside of your car. Make sure you check your surroundings because you absolutely never know what's lurking in the dark waiting to make you a story like the Mills cat that came up missing and this has been L.A. Kendrick like, share, comment, subscribe and then you guys fill in the rest